into the news. Let's start with our boy Pac-Man who was up on the national main stage doing a giveaway on whatnot. And he had thousands of people on whatnot trying to win some cards. What's crazy is, despite there being over a thousand people who entered each of the giveaways, the same people kept winning over and over. If you don't know how giveaways on whatnot work, it's actually quite easy. You just click a button and on the screen you are entered. Whatnot then randomizes the results and chooses a winner. The breaker, or in this case, Pac-Man, doesn't have to deal with lists or spreadsheets or random.org when a giveaway is run on whatnot. But if you look at the usernames who won the 34 giveaways Pac-Man did for the national, one person won three different times and two other people won twice as well. With a thousand entries into each contest, those results almost defy math and logic. So is there something wrong with the randomizer that is used on whatnot? Is there a way to rig the system that people don't know about. I did do some digging and some other people have brought this up and had weird results when running giveaways on whatnot. It's one thing if it's a free giveaway, it's another thing if it's a paid break. Would you feel comfortable using the whatnot randomizer to randomize your team in a paid break? Ah, who am I kidding? Many are more addicted to breaks and new product than a crack addict in the 1980s. Go chase some taco fractors. That is a Tesla! Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We investigated this issue and determined there was no violation of our current policy, which does not allow removing unsealed or unopened packs, boxes, or cards from the full visibility of the stream. We investigated this issue and determined there was no violation of our current policy, which does not allow removing unsealed or unopened packs, boxes, or cards from the full visibility of the stream.